Hi students, how are you? Hope all are good. And welcome to the 10th Biological Science Revision Session. The, my name is Priyambala. I am from KGBV Gangavaram, working as a Biological Science CRT. Children, today is the last session to me. So, in this session, I am going to discuss on the pattern of the question paper. Pattern of the question paper. So, children, let us see what is the pattern of the question paper. How many marks are allotted for each and every session? Mostly, how many questions are present in the question paper? Okay, children, let us know the, let us see the model paper of 10th, 10th class question paper, the year 2020-21 batch students. Model paper of 10th biological science subject. Here, first come to the instructions which are given in the question paper. Okay, let us read the instruction number one time. Total time given to the test is 2 hours 45 minutes. In this 2 hours 45 minutes, first 15 minutes are meant for reading the question paper and remaining 2 hours 30 minutes for writing the exam. The total head time here is 2 hours 45 minutes. In this first 15 minutes are for reading the question paper and the remaining 2 hours 30 minutes for writing the exam. Next coming to the second instruction. The second instruction is answer all questions in the booklet given. Students, you should answer all the questions which given in the question paper. Next, the third instruction is the question paper contains four sections. Section 1, Section 2, Section 3 and Section 4. In this question paper, there are how many sections? Four sections. Coming to the fourth instruction, section 4 has only internal choice. In this fourth section, each question has optional choice like A or B. Choose any question and are right answer for it. In section 1, 2 and 3, there is no any optional choice. Section Vakati, Rendu, Mariyu, Moodu, Absaru Cheshte, Anninti ki answers rayal si untu di. Akkada, etu anti internal choice undadu. Section 4 lo matra me internal choice untu di. Section Vakati, Rendu, Mariyu, Moodu lo etu anti choice undadu. Next, total number of questions is given in the question paper is 33. Total number of questions given in the question paper is 33. And total, num total marks given to the question paper is 50 marks. 50 marks. Question paper lo 33 questions untai. We turn in tiki yabai markulu ivadam jerigindi. Let us discuss the pattern of question paper. Let us discuss the pattern of question paper and section wise and what type of questions may ask in each section. Coming to the section 1, coming to the section 1, answer all the questions which is given in the section. Each question carries half mark. In the law, E section vocati law, panindu questions untai. Panindu questions kano, vokoka question ki half mark kata in jadam jerigindi. So, total marks allotted for this section is 6 marks. 12 into half equal to 6 marks. E section law, yelanti questions untai. What type of questions are missing in section 1? And it is not like that. In the law, questions anni kuda. Objective type lo untai. Anta one word answers rase vidanga untundi. In this section, the questions which are given in 
given as a one word answers one word answer type questions next nature of questions ela untai elanti questions istharu ani manam ok sari observe chesinatlayite indilo questions anni kuda different forms lo untai for example konni questions ni direct ga adagavachchu konni flow charts ichi vaatini fill cheyamani adagavachchu ledante fill in the blanks type lo undavachchu ledante wrong statements ichi vaatini correct cheyamani cheppavachchu inka identify the logos logos ichi adi deniki chendindi ani identify cheyamani cheppavachchu konni logos ichi vaatini what this logo describes what this logo denotes ani kuda adagavachchu so ila different forms lo questions anedi ivadam jarugutundi manam question paper model ga ni chusinatlayite vaatini manam clear ga observe cheyavachchu next coming to the second session second section section 2 let us observe section 2 in this very short answer type questions are given in this section totally eight questions are given you should answer to all the questions each question carries one mark so total marks allotted to this section is eight marks so ikkada enimidi prashnalu untayi anni prashnalaku answer raayalasi untundi meetiki ganu enimidi markulu ante okko prashna ki oka mark ketainchadam jarugutundi indilo question sadharananga one or two sentence lo raayalasi untundi mostly section 2 lo icche twenty questions anni kuda short answer questions very short answer questions వీటికి గాను వన్ ఆర్ టూ సెంటెన్స్లో మనం ఆన్సర్ రాస్తే సరిపోతుంది ఓకే చిల్డ్రన్ నెక్స్ట్ మూవ్ టు ద సెక్షన్ త్రీ ఇన్ దిస్ సెక్షన్ షార్ట్ ఆన్సర్ టైప్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ గివెన్ హియర్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెక్షన్ ఆల్సో ఎయిట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ విల్ బీ దేర్ యూ షుడ్ ఆన్సర్ టు ఆల్ ద క్వశ్చన్స్ విచ్ ఈస్ గివెన్ దెర్ ఈజ్ నో చాయిస్ హియర్ ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ క్యారీస్ టూ మార్క్స్ టోటల్ మార్క్స్ అలాటెడ్ ఫార్ దిస్ సెక్షన్ ఈజ్ సిక్స్టీ ఫర్ దీస్ క్వశ్చన్స్ యూ షుడ్ రైట్ ఆన్సర్స్ ఇన్ టూ టు త్రీ సెంటెన్సెస్ టూ టు త్రీ సెంటెన్సెస్ ఈ సెక్షన్ మూడులో డిఫరెంట్ టైప్స్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడిగే ఛాన్స్ ఉంటుంది ఇందులో ఎక్కువగా డయాగ్రామ్ బేస్డ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అడిగే ఛాన్స్ ఉంటుంది లేదంటే డయాగ్రామ్ ఇచ్చి డయాగ్రామ్ని డ్రా చేసి పార్ట్స్ని లేబుల్ చేయమని అడగవచ్చును లేదంటే డయాగ్రామ్ ఇచ్చి పార్ట్స్ని గుర్తించమని అడగవచ్చును లేదంటే మన వల్లనే ఒక డయాగ్రామ్ గీయమని అడగవచ్చును లేదంటే పారాగ్రాఫ్ ఇచ్చి అందులో నుంచి క్వశ్చన్స్ అడగవచ్చును ఫ్లో చార్ట్స్ అడగవచ్చును ఫ్రేమింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఈ ఫ్రేమింగ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ అనేది ఖచ్చితంగా ఒక మార్క్ వచ్చే ఛాన్స్ ఉంది ఒకటి లేదా రెండు మార్కులకి అడుగుతారు ఫర్ ఎగ్జాంపుల్ వాట్ టైప్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ డూ యూ ఆస్క్ కార్డియాలజిస్ట్ అని ఇలా కొన్ని కొన్ని క్వశ్చన్స్ వస్తాయి ఇంకా ఈ సెక్షన్ త్రీలో స్లోగన్స్ అబ్రివేషన్స్ ఇవన్నీ కూడా అడిగే ఛాన్స్ ఉంది నెక్స్ట్ కమింగ్ టు ద నెక్స్ట్ సెక్షన్ సెక్షన్ ఫోర్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెక్షన్ లాంగ్ ఆన్సర్ టైప్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ ప్రెజెంట్ ఇన్ దిస్ టోటలీ ఫైవ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ ప్రెజెంట్ ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ క్యారీస్ ఫోర్ మార్క్స్ హియర్ ఈచ్ క్వశ్చన్ హ్యాస్ ఇంటర్నల్ చాయిస్ సో యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ ఏ ఆర్ బి చూస్ ఎనీ క్వశ్చన్ అండ్ ఆన్సర్ ద క్వశ్చన్ 20 marks are allotted for this section 5 questions are given in this section each question carries 4 marks totally 20 marks are allotted here question paper pattern chusinatlayite different forms lo untundi kachithanga oka experiment oka experiment question adugutaru paragraph questions adugutar order form questions nu kuda adugutar diagram ichi questions adagavachu ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్ డయాగ్రామ్ ఇచ్చి ఎక్స్పెరిమెంట్కి సంబంధించిన క్వశ్చన్స్ అడగవచ్చు దిస్ ఈజ్ ద మోడల్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ చిల్డ్రన్ చిల్డ్రన్ నౌ వీ నో ద మోడల్ ఆఫ్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ హియర్ ద టోటల్ టైమ్ గివెన్ టు ద ద టోటల్ టైమ్ గివెన్ టు ద ఎగ్జామ్ ఈజ్ టూ అవర్స్ ఫార్టీ ఫైవ్ మినిట్స్ అండ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ క్వశ్చన్స్ గివెన్ ఇన్ ద క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్ ఈజ్ థర్టీ త్రీ హౌ మెనీ క్వశ్చన్స్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు రైట్ థర్టీ త్రీ నెక్స్ట్ this question paper has four sections how many sections four sections 
only fourth section has the optional choice internal choice okay students now okay students let us discuss the important some important questions which are in our textbook to, for well preparation of exams okay let us discuss the important questions for public examination okay students let us discuss some of the important questions for public examination see here here i am going to first explain half mark one mark and two mark questions the first question is define photosynthesis and its facts for this question you have to answer what is photosynthesis and what are the factors involved in this photosynthesis coming to the next question nutrition in amoeba nutrition in amoeba here the next one is define peristaltic movement what is epiglottis and role of epiglottis what is the role of epiglottis you have to explain in two sentence explain in one or two sentence for one mark question one word answer for half mark question and two or three sentences for two marks question the next question is the role of the diaphragm the role of diaphragm the sixth one is role of alveoli what is the role performed by alveoli write in a single sentence next describe atp adenosine triphosphate one next question what is a one atp is equal to how much kilo calories ninth question is define aerial routes tenth question is difference between arteries and veins next what is cardiac cardia cardiac cycle what is cardiac cycle define blood pressure and write about hypertension what is a synapse what is a synapse explain reflex arc explain reflex arc what is parthenogenesis next question is what is parthenogenesis the next question is explain sperm cell with a diagram explain sperm cell with a diagram the 17th question is name the ductless gland name the ductless gland define chorion omnion allantois and yolk sac chorion omnion allantois and yolk sac in embryo developmental stages next question is what is cell cycle what is cell cycle next what are the phases present in the cell cycle next coming to the 20th question why did mendel choose an pea plant of his experiment pea plant for his experiment the next question is define trait allele or genes define allele trait or genes the next one the next one is define law of dominance define law of dominance next one what are fossils what are fossils why human being called a moving museum why human being called a moving museum next question is define ecological pyramids and what are the how many types of ecological pyramids are there next question is what is sustainable development what is sustainable development next one is red ribbon logo draw a red ribbon logo next 28th question sustainable development logo sustainable development logo next one is recycling logo recycling logo definitely one logo was given in our question paper next question is what is phenotypic and genotypic ratio genotypic phenotypic and genotypic what are the ratios of phenotypic and genotypic ratios next nastic movements there are different types of nastic movements are there like phototropism geotropism like that next 
the children definitely in our question there is a there is a question for four marks there is a question for four marks experiments experiments in new pattern in new pap new pattern approximately two experiments are approximately in new pattern in new pattern question paper approximately two experimental questions are given in different ways coming to the experiments what type of questions they may ask the first experiment you should re you should learn is carbon dioxide experiment carbon dioxide experiments also called moles half leaf experiment moles half leaf experiment which is in the first unit at the same time hydrilla experiment hydrilla experiment oxygen is produced during photosynthesis oxygen is produced during photosynthesis the third experiment heat is released during respiration heat is released during respiration the fourth experiment which you have to learn is carbon dioxide is released during respiration next question is saliva experiment in sixth lesson saliva experiment in sixth lesson next sixth one sixth one is rhizopus bread mold experiment rhizopus bread mold experiment in reproduction lesson children these are the experiments these are the experiment important experiments which may be given in the exam examinations next children there must be a flow chart uh they give as they give for one mark questions or two mark questions the flow chart is must and should be there in the question paper here some of the flow charts are there learn children learn children flow chart of human digestive system flow chart of human digestive system the second flow chart is steps in respiration steps in respiration the third one is the passage of air in respiration flow chart in respiration lesson next cellular respiration flow chart cellular respiration flow chart the fifth one is food chain pathway food chain pathway in our environment lesson that is ninth chapter that is in ninth chapter children definitely one differentiation question will be asked in the public examination question paper now let us see some of the differences which are present in our textbook okay now now see the first difference is the first important difference is autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition autotrophic and heterotrophic nutrition next coming to the next question differentiate between light reaction and dark reaction the next one is differentiate between aerobic respiration and an aerobic respiration the first two questions in the first chapter next the third one is in the second chapter respiration lesson coming to the next question differentiate between photosynthesis and respiration in second chapter next next question differentiate between mastication and rumination differentiate between mastication and rumination in sixth chapter in sixth chapter and uh, under this mastication and rumination also discussed in the first chapter also the next important differentiation is combustion and respiration combustion and respiration differentiate between combustion and respiration the next question is differentiate between mitosis and meiosis differentiate between mitosis and meiosis the next important differentiation is differentiate between single circulation and double circulation single circulation and double circulation next differentiate between primary metabolites and secondary metabolites primary metabolites and secondary metabolites in fifth chapter next coming to the 10th question differentiate between sexual reproduction and asexual mode of reproduction 
this uh, sexual mode of reproduction and asexual mode of reproduction is an important differentiation which can be in the sixth chapter reproduction lesson next coming to the next important differentiation differentiation between homologous and analogous organs it is this homologous and analogous organs question is also important for one mark and two marks two marks one and two marks next children in the question paper for four marks definitely there is a tabular form definitely we see a tabular form in the four marks questions that too in the that too in the easy way we can easily write this question easily write this questions why because most of the answers are given in the table itself in our textbook there are some important tabular forms which may be which may be uh, given to the examination okay children let us see what types of tabular forms are in our textbook the first table the important table seems in seems in the first chapter n james table n james table in this n james table definitely definitely uh, given to one mark or two marks next next important tabular form is vitamins table vitamins table the third important tabular form is alkaloids table alkaloids table i alkaloids table next one is functions of brain functions of brain in the tabular form of fifth lesson coordination the next tabular form is a endocrine glands endocrine glands the next one is hormones of plant step hormones of plants hormones of plants the next one is mitosis table mitosis table children here i gave a page numbers also page number also please learn these tabular forms please learn these tabular forms briefly why because the tabular form already gave already given in the question paper you should answer the questions which which is given in the question paper next coming to the next one is slogans children definitely a slogan question are present in the question paper they ask write about slogans on child marriages next one vaccination slogans saving water slogans organ donation organ donation slogans planting trees what are the importance of the plants and write some slogans regarding planting trees they may ask next coming to the sixth question saving a electrical energy saving a electrical energy write some slogans regarding saving an electrical energy they may ask coming to the next important slogan which may ask in the question paper is on environment protection on environment protection what type of slogans you may give to protect the environment to protect the environment like these slogans may ask in the question paper so children please should learn the slogans for these okay next there is the next there will be a question for there will be a four marks question regarding diagrams regarding diagrams some of the diagram based questions are asking in asking asking in the question paper some of the diagram based questions are asked for examinations now see what type of questions are they the first one is internal structure of heart internal structure of heart the next one is internal structure of brain internal structure of brain the third question is internal structure of kidney that to ls of kidney the fourth important diagram based question is transverse section of leaf transverse section of leaf the next important one is excretory system excretory system draw draw neatly excretory system the next question is human digestive system human 
digestive system the next one is structure of nerve cell structure of nerve cell diagram the eighth one is structure of nephron cell nephron structure of nephron the ninth one is structure of mitochondria and the last one is structure of chloroplast children please practice the diagrams please practice the diagrams definitely there will be a question for four marks definitely there will be a question for four marks they simply ask draw nerve cell draw or explain the nerve cell with a neat label diagram explain the nerve cell or nerve cell with a neat label diagram so please practice the diagrams children here i have some important four marks questions which may give which may give in examination see first one explain chloroplast and its structure the second one is diseases due to malnutrition what type of diseases are what type of diseases may cause due to malnutrition cashier cure marasmus like this next the third four marks questions is structure of mitochondria structure of mitochondria they may ask where cellular respiration takes place where cellular respiration takes place explain with a diagram the next fourth important question is explain the process of coagulation of blood explain the process of coagulation of blood the fifth one is explain root pressure explain root pressure which takes place in plants the next one is structure of nephron describe the structure of nephron with a diagram next the seventh one is write about dialysis process write about dialysis process which require which needs this dialysis process eighth one asexual mode of reproduction and its methods asexual mode of reproduction and its methods like grafting cutting layering like that sorry 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 asexual mode of reproduction and its means uh, budding fragmentation binary fission like this next ninth one ninth one is structure of flower structure of flower and the flower, flower floral parts and the reproductive parts which are present in the flower the next 10th question is explain nerve cell with a diagram explain nerve cell with a diagram next coming to the next question structure of ovule structure of ovule where double fertilization occur describe it the next one is what is carbon dating method what is carbon dating method it may ask for two two marks question also the next important question is sex determination in human beings sex determination in human beings is male is responsible for sex determination isn't it they may ask like that next question is what is sustainable development what is sustainable development the 15th one the important one is four hours four hours reduce reuse recycle recover definitely it is a important question for four marks regarding environmental studies they ma they may ask why should we conserve forest why forest are called lungs of the earth the next question is what is global warming what are the effects of global warming the next means the next question is name greenhouse gases greenhouse gases and uh, some more questions are why floods occur what are the effects for the what are the effects of these floods like these questions may ask in environmental studies for two marks for two marks or one more students there are some important abbreviations which are in our textbook let us have a look on this 24d 24d means dichlorophenoxy acetic acid dichlorophenoxy acetic acid adp adp adenosine diphosphate adenosine diphosphate aids 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 aquid 
immunodeficiency syndrome acquired immunodeficiency syndrome next coming to the next abbreviation amp amp means adenosine monophosphate adenosine monophosphate the next abbreviation is ans autonomous nervous system ans means autonomous nervous system art art anti retroviral therapy anti retroviral therapy the next one is ASH asha ASH accredited accredited social health activist accredited social health activist next coming to the next one ATP ATP means adenosine triphosphate adenosine triphosphate next BP BP means blood pressure BP means blood pressure BBF BBF broad bed furrow irrigation bbf means broad bed furrow irrigation next one is bcg bcg bacillus colmetti garin it is a tb vaccine it is a tb vaccine bhc benzene hexachloride benzene hexachloride the next one is bmr basal metabolic rate basal metabolic rate the next one is bod bod biological oxygen demand biological oxygen demand the next abbreviation is bt bt means bacillus thuringiensis bacillus thuringiensis ccmb ccmb center for cellular and molecular biology center for cellular and molecular biology the next abbreviation is cfc chlorofluorocarbons cfc chlorofluorocarbons the next one is cfl cfl compact fluorescent lamp cfl means compact fluorescent lamp the next one is cng cng compressed natural gas cng means compressed natural gas next one is cns cns central nervous system cns central nervous system the next one is co carbon monoxide carbon monoxide next one is cod chemical oxygen demand chemical oxygen demand the next one is dna dna means deoxyribonucleic acid deoxyribonucleic acid the next one is rna ribonucleic acid dap dap means diammonium phosphate diammonium phosphate dct dct distal convoluted tubule distal convoluted tubule ddt ddt dichloro diphen dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane dichloro diphenyl trichloro ethane ddt means next esrd end stage renal disease end stage renal disease fsh fsh means follicle stimulating hormone follicle stimulating hormone okay children these are the some of the abbreviations which are which are seen in our textbook definitely there is definitely there will be a question regarding these abbreviations